No matter how much time you have wasted in your past, you have an entire tomorrow. By listening to this quotation, you might be feeling like, "Oh, we have got a plenty of time." But that is the main thing. The trouble is, you think you still have time, but you have to be happy because you still have time. You are left with an entire month, and that's a lot, especially for your tenth board preparation. Because tenth is your easiest exam you have in your entire life. Even a person who hasn't studied anything can score ninety plus in one month. And for those who have already studied and watching this video, you can. Definitely score ninety five plus. This video is not only going to be the tips and strategy for your ten boards to score ninety plus, but the main part lies over here, and that is the sequence. You have one month left, and at this point of time, sequence is a must. What I mean by sequence? Over here, I'm considering sequence as practicing those things first, which have a higher probability of coming in the exam. The first tip is to solve the PYQs, but by analyzing the questions. For example. Over here I have the chemistry paper of 2017 you can see there is one question and the question is action of cold and dilute nitric acid and copper we have to give a balanced chemical equation for this particular thing and the answer to it is uh, 3 Cu plus 8 HNO3 will give you 3 CuNO3 whole twice plus 4 H2O plus 2 NO but if we talk about the 2016 uh, chemistry paper there was one question which was similar but the only difference was that uh, it was hot that is action of hot and concentrated nitric acid on copper by this we get an idea in both these air the copper reaction with uh, acid came so it is sure that this question will be coming the second one is to go through your mistakes it is really important for you to recorrect the things which you have done wrong earlier so over here i have the board and pre board papers in semester 1 and semester 2 in history and civics i wasn't able to learn the date and the, the causes the reasons and the circumstances that led to this or that incident especially the heading part so what i did i just rectified all my mistakes and i made notes of that same case was with maths also i just underlined each and every question i did wrong and i never regret this decision because the questions in pre board paper were almost the same as that of the boards the ones that i did wrong in my pre board went correct in boards once in my physics life i started to teach brown ring test 6 feso 4 plus 3 h2 feso 4 plus 2 hno3 will give you 3 fe2 so4 whole thrice plus 4 h2o plus 2 no most of you said that it is not coming but 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 because i had written them in my notes and even in my book i marked it as important question and even in my pre boards this question came which i wasn't able to do i mean i tried but the balancing part was incorrect but in boards it was correct For practicing and enhancing your ability to solve questions, I have a perfect book for you. That is Oswald book. It is a ICSE 10th sample question paper. Over here, I have the English language and mathematics sample book. First is English language. It has on tip notes and mnemonics. Over here, they are suggesting the students what to do and what not to in order to write the answers in a perfect manner. Difficult concepts will be converted into easy ones by using the mind maps. It has 2,000 plus MCQs and objective questions. It consists of 2023 specimen papers. Over here you can see the mind maps of email, notice, grammar, etc. And then on the next page we have the sample question paper 1 where the format is totally absolutely same like that of your board pattern. You have been provided with answers as well. Then we have the self-assessment paper two unsolved. Sample papers are provided in different subjects, be it chemistry, physics, etc. Then the next we have is mathematics. By solving these papers, you'll get an idea about the questions which are going to come in your boards. Over here, they are informing the students about the topics and concepts found difficult by the students. Like over here, the question three third part is very similar to the question which came in our board exam of heights and distances. Over here, we have the mind maps again of matrices and ratio and proportion etc. Just have a look.
and the best part i like about this book is the examiner comment plus answering tip these are the common mistakes done by the students and they have also provided the tips on how to rectify them like i have seen many students who are not able to recognize their mistakes and they do that particular mistake again and again so for that you need an advice and that's from the examiner over here this oswald sample paper book is very helpful to you guys link is in the description box buy it now complete those chapters first which have more weightage as compared to other chapters for example if we talk about maths we have mensuration having the maximum weightage most of the students think and they are advised to spend more time on complex subjects and dedicate at least 2 hours per day on them but let me tell you one thing you have to follow one of the two ways one take out limited days on a particular subject two do all the subjects with one hour limitation for each that means you have to finish a particular subject within a limited duration or you can do one subject for one hour and then change to other subject now that you are left with only one month the main thing in physics is to practice a lot of numericals hamare semester 1 and even hamare semester 2 mein numericals ka weightage zyada tha but is baar kyunki aapke normal boards ho rahe hain so aapka numericals kam honge theory part se now you must be thinking that why am i asking you to practice numericals अब क्योंकि थ्योरी पार्ट ज़्यादा आ रहा था हम उसमें ज़्यादा फोकस करते हैं न्यूमेरिकल्स एकदम भूल जाते इग्नोर करते थे जिस वजह से हमारे सिंपल न्यूमेरिकल्स भी गलत हो जाते हैं एज आई ऑलवेज से डोंट टेक इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज लाइटली अदरवाइज इट विल टेक यू लाइटली सो फॉर इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज आई वुड से दैट यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ सेंटेंसेज एंड ग्रामर पोर्शन स्पेशली द टेंसेज पार्ट एंड द प्रपोजिशन पार्ट एंड आई ऑलरेडी टोल यू इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट यू हैव टू मेक श्योर विच एस सी यू आर गोइंग टू अटैम्प्ट according to me narrative and descriptive best and uh, like in transformation of sentences uh, we tend to do some mistakes which are not supposed to be done first mistake is never use also with beside and with with hardly use had and when with nd tv that is no sooner than we use than not then okay and the fourth is that we forget to put the commas in between that's a major mistake in my previous video i told you a part of what to do and what not to do in transformation of sentence you can watch that video as well so you'll be getting you'll be getting a wider idea of how to write the transformation of sentences part and also your writing must be good i am not saying that i'm not saying that the examiner will only be giving marks if your handwriting is flawless but still i can say try to give a neat presentation to the examiner cuz presentation also impresses the examiners yeah <laughs>
Now if you write Kochi is near the coastal area. But think just think about it. Mumbai is also near the coastal area. So it means that Kochi and Mumbai both lie near the coastal area, but still Kochi is warmer. So it's sure that the reason is not the coastal area part. Because they both lie in coastal area. The reason is something else, and that is near to the equator. Kochi is near to the equator, whereas Mumbai is far away from the equator. So we got one more reasoning reason. So it can be distance from the sea, latitudinal distance, monsoon wind, varied relief. leeward and windward side of a with respect to a particular mountain barrier whatever and the last one equator so that was it for topography i hope you might be knowing how to uh, measure that distance and northwest northeast etc and remember you have to take a thread with you on the day of the exam because it's for like measuring the rivers and so so and let me just show you the sign conventional symbols and always remember one thing when it comes to the direction of flow of river we all know that rivers move from a higher region to a lower region so in your answer you should tell or mention from and to and these three things you have to remember the direction you can just you can just find the direction by the given arrow and by the decreasing spot height by the acute angle made by tributary towards the source of the river इन जोग्राफी यू हैव अटैम्प्टिंग चॉइस लाइक आपके कोई से भी फाइव या सिक्स चैप्टर्स होते हैं जो आपको अटैम्प्ट करने होते हैं अपने पेपर में क्वेश्चन पेपर में अब देखो एक वो बच्चा है जिसने अपने वो पर्टिकुलर पाँच या छः चैप्टर अपना स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉइंट बना रखा है और उसमें अच्छा स्कोर कर पा रहा है और एक दूसरी तरफ वो ही बच्चा है जो जिसने सारे चैप्टर्स कर रखे बट उनमें से आधे तो ऐसे जिसको आते ही नहीं ढंग से और आधे ऐसे जो उसको थोड़े बहुत आ जाते हैं तो उसके उतने मार्क्स नहीं आने वाले जितने उस बच्चे के आएंगे जिसने बहुत अच्छे से अपना स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉइंट बनाया था उन चैप्टर्स को सो आई रिकमेंड यू टू वाइजली चूज द चैप्टर्स विच कैन बी योर स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉइंट एंड हेल्प यू टू गेट फुल मार्क्स और इवन बेटर मार्क्स इन जोग्राफी सो या दैट वॉज ऑल फॉर द वीडियो गाइज लाइक दिस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल हिद नोटिफिकेशन वेल एंड ऑल्सो मैंने आपको नोट्स देने का प्रोवाइड कर सोच सोचा था बट आई वॉज वॉज एंड एबल टू कस राइट नाउ आई एम इन डेली सो इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो नोट्स वेल वी डेफिनेटली अपलोडेड in the description box so stay tuned bye